Welcome to hell. Yeah, sorry, it's not going to be much of a video today. Um, yeah, so you saw we had four inches of rain in five days. Possibly more, I can't even remember now. Um, then we had snow. Thankfully, by the time the snow came along, we'd pretty much finished lambing, but still not ideal right at the end. And uh, yeah, then we had a flood. Lovely. That's right, a flood. We had 65 millimetres of rain in about 11 hours. Uh, so that was all good. And then we had a, a reasonably nice warm day in between. And then we had another 17 mils of rain. And that was yesterday. And then last night we had more rain again. I haven't even bothered looking in the rain gauge, but uh, yeah, we've all just had a complete guts full. So anyway, here's a bit of a look back at, at uh, what's been since the last video. Here come the yearling steers. Getting out onto some better feed. They, uh, nice and quiet, these guys. Yeah, so they're heading out into this. Looks a little bit better out there. A bit of tucker there for them. Not a huge amount, but they're just, yeah. Gonna run with the using lambs for a wee while. They've got a bit of growing to do. They're behind the eight ball a wee bit. But hopefully we'll still get most of them killed at 18 months. There might be, might be a handful there. We'll see how store maybe, but we'll see how we get on with them. I think they're a wee bit hungry after all that wet weather. We had them on a uh, wee paddock feeding them baleage. They made a hell of a mess up there, but yeah, better there than here. But uh, they haven't travelled very far through the gate. And they've just stopped with their heads down eating. Plenty of grass there for them to do that for a wee while. Hopefully these guys won't have another hungry day till they get on the truck. We're working away at this paddock now for close to an hour. Um, I wound up shedding two other paddocks into here and I did one of them before the snow and the other one just about half an hour ago. Well, no, hour and a half ago I suppose. Um, yeah, so there's 400 and... Yeah, 400 odd years worth of wet dries and lates in here. But uh, it just doesn't matter what, matter what you do in this paddock. Hang on, I'll just show you the paddock. So it runs way down there, and then we go up over the top, way up there, and it runs way down, just around over the horizon there, or sort of. Um, doesn't matter where you go, they just, the whole paddock moved to one corner. So normally when you shed a paddock out, you might wind up with two or three years of lambs at the end of your travel. You will wind up with about 35 this time. It was just nothing we can do about it, it just takes time. So anyway, I'll uh, see if I can get these last few out. Just taking the pockets off this flat. Here, Slim! Here, Slim! Um, we're going to get quite a bit of rain tonight. Talking 30 to 50 mils, and this is the river. See what there's most around there, the river in there. Um, we can go up pretty quick, pretty nasty, so we uh, go up here and get some nice. Yeah, but there's been a bit of an issue in here. Like I was saying in the last video here, a bit of an issue with the hoggets that was out of my control, and that is that they are lambing. Um, pretty sure it's a border security issue, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, uh, there's been probably 35 or so far, maybe a few more. Um, lost three, which sucks. Problem with lambing hoggets, problem with feeding lambing hoggets that weren't fed to be in lamb, is that they don't get fed enough to be strong enough to push the lambs out. So, we fed them to grow themselves, not the lamb as well. So, yeah, there's four of them this afternoon. They're all up, they're alive. There you go, they're away, we're just going to put them, so they're running into one break, going to go through the next one and back to the next one. Uh, I want to put them on the paddock a really nice lush grass further back, but if we're going to get a whole lot of rain they'll just waste that. So we're going to chuck them on that break for the night. The bottom of that wall sheet is about five feet high. Oh bloody lovely, so that flat there, so that there's the neighbours. This flat here is theirs. The only bit on that side of the river out here. That's where those hoggets were last night. Glad I shifted them. Yeah, still coming up. You can see there's there's this wee girl down here and there's two over here. They're the ones that had land last night. The other one has managed to get across the bridge and walk up there. There's no point trying to shift them because hoggets with young lambs at a day old are not going to move for anyone but themselves. But I mean they're fine there. We shifted them before we made a mess so they've got, if it's green it's dry enough. Um, 
and they've got feet there as well. So she's actually got two of hers alive. I thought one of them was dead. That's good to see. Anyway, um, yeah, 2020, eh? before so uh, yeah I've done a bit of it with the old farmy army with a few farmers before but not much so frustrating but it's not a time consuming process so I've got pretty lucky that way. There goes the hoggets on their new break. I wanted to get them in here for ages like I just said. Yeah loads of grass in here. Like there's probably six or seven days worth of feed in here. We'll uh, see what the weather does. It's, it's still still wet underneath it's not saturated but it's still bloody wet but um yeah we'll see i'm hoping they'll get four days here anyway and i'm hoping there's no more lambs to be born in here come on my girls hey yeah see so here we go so yeah with the flooding we didn't we didn't get off too bad like as you saw like uh that's literally two or three percent of our farm that floods it just so happened that these wee hoggets that had lamb didn't want to run off there there's only three with four lambs but we had a bit of warning if we were watching the forecast, but uh, yeah, those that those that weren't actually watching it, which a lot of the time we don't, there was no official warning sent out, we were never told there was a heavy rain event coming, it was just, oh, you've got about two inches of rain coming for the day, which, yeah, probably needs to be worked on. Um, yeah, well, we weren't too bad, but I know a lot of guys further down, down downstream in the catchments, um, yeah, it was a lot worse down there. A lot of fence damage. I have heard stories of stock being lost. Uh, and these are people that did prepare too, but just didn't think it was going to be as bad as it was. Um, yeah, so really feeling for those guys. Just, just need some sunshine. That's all we need. A week of it would be just great. Oh, what a difference a day can make, eh? Hey, bloody, how's your mum? Go find her. Got three up here left to lamb. I should have had this done a week ago, but... Getting the last of my shedding out done today, finally. Be a good feeling not having to go around these girls every day. You wouldn't believe this grass was all underwater just 48 hours ago, but uh, that's the difference a couple of days can make, I guess. Oh, check out that hair, would you? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, at the moment I'm filming this, the, uh, what do you call it, Town and Country Tractor Hui is tomorrow. Please behave, make it a good day, make it count. I'm not going to be there unfortunately, I'm hanging on to hope that uh, I'm going to have ground dry to work because I'm getting desperate to get some young grass sown. And I've got a wee bit of nitrogen from the uh, early September stuff left in the bin that I need to get on to for these girls. But yeah, if, if you've got the chance, please do go and get behind it. We need to support these guys in this. Fed's been doing amazing work around this plan. It stands to destroy our farming practices basically. We, uh, we're all going to wind up farming under consent and doing what we're told if we're not very careful here. So please do get along if you're not doing anything and you get right into it. Anyway, we'll catch you next time.